The fascia iliacic compartment block is commonly used in patients presenting with fractured neck of femurs and aims to block the femoral nerve, the lateral cutaneous nerve of the thigh and the obturator nerves. It may be blocked using a supra or infrainguinal approach. The first one here is the infrainguinal approach. Here you can see two muscles, the sartorius muscle laterally and the iliopsoas muscle. The femoral nerve is beneath the fascia iliaca and the femoral artery beneath the fascia lata. To perform the block here, the needle is brought from lateral, generally through the sartorius and underneath the fascia iliaca, hoping to see the local anaesthetic spreading towards the femoral nerve. For the supra fascia iliaca block, the probe is placed on the anterior superior iliac spine, pointing towards the umbilicus. Sliding along the inguinal ligament, the anterior inferior iliac spine becomes evident with the overriding iliacus muscle. Inferior laterally, the sartorius muscle is seen, and superior medially, the abdominal muscles are also seen. The needle is brought from an inferior lateral position, aiming to pierce the fascia iliaca above the iliacus muscle. Here is another picture with the probe placed slightly more medially, with the anterior inferior iliac spine, iliacus and fascia iliaca clearly seen. When the local anaesthetic is injected, the iliacus muscle is clearly peeling away from the fascia iliaca with the local anaesthetic tracking down into the pelvis. The deep circumflex iliac artery, which is a branch of the external iliac artery, lies above the fascia iliaca and it is clear that the local anaesthetic is below this, which is correct.